for years and years and years, there's always been like this thing where video games of any genre could be a classic, a hit, never really translated well in the movie space. We can argue and debate that all day, but there's a handful. You can pick and choose some of them. You can be like, nah, I, I like this movie when it came out and it came from a, you know, video game. Like Dragon Ball, shit was, ooh, we don't even like talking about that shit. You know that live action one? Yo, Dookie. Besides that, you know, you had um, Angelina Jolie's Tomb Raider. I always loved that film. I loved the Ninja Turtles movie from the 90s. I love the Mario Brothers movie with John Linguizamo from the 90s. The Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Like, I loved, I loved it all. Like, I loved all those movies. A lot of people would consider that to be an ass classic because when you see the production on it, it was just like, some of it just didn't, you know, age well. You have the Witcher TV show, phenomenal. All the shit you've seen, I want to see that Dungeons & Dragons uh, movie that's dropping next year too. This is another one, The Last of Us. I think now with the way video games are, they, they are just as much as blockbuster movies as movies themselves. The, the budget, the CGI, the work, the story that they tell with a lot of these video games, they can, trans, they can transfer very well in the movie space. And this is one of them, in this case, with, with a show um, picked up by HBO. I think Naughty Dog has something here. And I really hope, you know, with the actors that they have on here, it's going to be a phenomenal pick of cast. I just want to see a great story being told. I know there's some controversy. Listen, I love The Last of Us, and we waited nearly 10 years or seven to eight years or whatever for The Last of Us 2. Towards its end cycle or towards the release or towards the time that we know that it had released that first trailer, the writer left. They switched up so much, and I can understand the relationship between Joel and Ellie. We was like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden... Uh, uh, Ali, I think it, her name, Abby, excuse me, I said Ali. Abby came in the mix. We played nearly most of the, the game with her. It was just, it was, it threw people off because we thought it, the game was going to be one way. Still, Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. One of the best stories told. I'm here to react to this. Please drop your comments below if you are excited. And what are you hoping for with this season? I think this drops in January. So best believe we're doing a reaction. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? You haven't seen the world. Ooh. Ooh. So you don't know. You keep going for family. I'm not family. No. Your cargo. <laughs> Good time, that's that early relationship. Why are you so important? Somewhere out west. Oh, look They're at working this. on a cure. Beautiful. I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a monster. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay. If I'm taking you with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do what I say when I say it. Got any advice on the best way west? Yeah, go east. Oh my goodness. You've come this far. Then you know what's out there. Tons. Oh my god. You trust me? Is that Joe's brother? So listen, the makeup work on them clickers and the CGI work surrounding it is beautiful. When we first saw how they looked and the animation and everything, I said, you know what? This is this is how you really throw down on a video game. You know, you put it into a show's perspective or a movie's perspective. You throw that budget down. You get the right people for cinematography. You get the right people for CGI work. You get the right people for doing makeup and animation. This looked phenomenal. The previous trailer, same thing. One of the biggest things for me that made the game so good, of course, was the encounters. It was just an overall stealthy experience when you played the game with clickers. Part two, 
I don't know if you guys remember. It wasn't as many clickers, but there was more survivors and people that you had to go across, come across and kill and all that other shit. In this case, I'm glad they're going to focus on so much character development. Ooh, I had to. I had to drink a cup of this. I'm sorry. This coffee was busting. I started coughing while I was talking. I had to cut this off real quick. Ooh, I was talking too much. But no, in the trailer, we see Tez. Um, I got to get my focus attack. I got to start looking it up. I don't, I think we've seen, obviously we've seen Tommy, uh, all these characters that were encounters from within the game, the father and son that you just saw. Um, there's going to be so much build up to this. I want to see so much character development, you know, in the beginning with Sarah and Joel, obviously that's Joel's daughter. I want to see, I want to see like a whole episode dedicated to that. I wouldn't mind, or perhaps half the episode really focusing on their relationship because in the game. I still cried on the first one when you seen what happened, but I want to just see how they're going to, you know, bridge that with a show and how, you know, crazy they're going to make it look. This is almost for me like the success in just that rise of the walking dead. And this is giving me that feeling that's, this is giving me this amped up hype feeling like the walking dead did to me, the walking dead. When that dropped, man, that, that really shaped up the, the community on YouTube and everywhere around the world. That was huge. Then they dropped, what, five seasons? And the rest of them just became like a what the fuck. I don't know. But in this case, I, we're bringing it back now. We're going to have clickers, obviously, zombies, whatever you call them, the infected. And this is going to bridge in a big story. I want to see how they marry these two together, how they're going to take the information from the game, which obviously has to within condense into what, a 12-hour game or a 10-hour game, a 20-hour game, whatever. And they're going to bring it over to a TV series. I'm excited for this. Please drop your comments below. How do you feel about the cast? I think it looked great. I love seeing a little bit of Ellie's personality right there in that trailer because that tells me a lot about her. It tells me also why Joe ends up giving in and that, and that they, you know, become that father daughter like relationship. It is going to be more powerful than it is than it was from the game itself. So drop your comments below. It's your boy 3MG. I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.